What is good, everybody? Today, we're diving into my WrestleMania 40 predictions, man. Gonna be out there live for Philadelphia's WrestleMania. Can't wait to cover all the brand new figures and all the different activities that are gonna be surrounding the city. Cannot wait for it, man. Should be absolute cinema, as we always like to say. But today, man, we're gonna be breaking down my predictions for WrestleMania 40. Now, coming in, they're dubbing it the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Even the Superstore. They're saying the Superstore is the best Superstore of all time. So, will this live up to the hype? We shall find out. But today, man, we're gonna break down the entire card. I'm gonna break down night one and night two. You can let me know down in the comment section below if you're attending WrestleMania yourself. But looking at this card, I'm actually very hyped for the show. Going into it, very excited. I think it's a loaded card, and it could turn into one of the best WrestleManias of all time. I truly believe that. With that being said, let's start things off and get into my predictions. So I guess we can start things off with night number one, and I'm going to start off. These are really no in no particular order, I guess, but I'm just going to name them off in the order that I think they'll possibly go in, or just, I guess, least hype to most hype. And our first matchup is going to be the LWO taking on Dominic Mysterio and Sam. Santos Escobar. So Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee taking on Dominic and Santos Escobar here. We have a little bit of tie-in with the Judgment Day here. Maybe that shenanigans could get involved there. I think, you know, the demise of the Judgment Day is kind of in its early stages right now. But I feel like to cause more dissension, I feel like Santos and Dominic need to get this win. Also, Rey Mysterio lost to Dominic last year, so it would make sense, I think, to get that win back. So Dominic and Santos go over, and then it causes more friction. You know, seeing Dominic and Santos hugging in the ring and acting all close, I think that would get under the Judgment Day skin a little bit there, so I'm going to go with Dominic and Santos winning this one. Next up, we have another tag team match. This is going to be the six women tag team match between Damage Control taking on Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade. I fully believe Jade Cargill is going to win this one. I could see them building her up, similar to Bianca Belair, right? Her undefeated record. I could see them building her up here. This is going to be the start to that. I in no way think that Damage Control is going to beat these three women. I think this is a very cool matchup. A very, you know, a great way to put a bunch of women together in a matchup. Get some good, uh, just a really good match. I think this is a really good match here for WrestleMania, just to uh, give a spot on the card for these women. You know, Bianca Belair and Jade not involved in any women's championships or anything. So I think that this is a good way to hype them up and, you know, put them on a trajectory forward. So I think that Jade, Naomi, and Bianca Belair are going to win this one, but I do expect a pretty good matchup out of Damage Control, too. Next up is one of the matchups that I'm probably most looking forward to, man. We have the six-pack challenge ladder match, I guess you could call it. Undisputed Tag Team Championships on the line, man. We have the defending champions, The Judgment Day, defending against DIY and Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, The New Day and Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, The New Catch Republic and Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate, A-Town Down Under with Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, and The Awesome Truth in The Miz and Our truth Now, coming in this, I really didn't want The Awesome Truth to be in this, you know, I would have preferred a different tag team, but I still think there's so much talent in this matchup that it has to be one of those that you look out for this weekend. It, it's just, it's on paper, it's one of those fantasy matchups where you're just like fantasy booking it, you're, you know, the, a 2K video game action figure match, you know, these different things where anything can happen, and I'm very much looking forward to this matchup, man. I don't think the Judgment Day are going to retain here. I think we are going to crown new champions, and I think that's also going to tie into Dominic Mysterio and Santos and that whole Judgment Day storyline. So I think the Judgment Day are going to drop their tag team championships here. Now, who's going to win it? I really couldn't tell you. I think that this could go a slew of different ways. As far as my prediction, I mean, Jesus, man, looking at the teams in this matchup, I could see A-Town Down Under winning for some dumb reason. I would not prefer that. But I'm going to go with DIY. I'm going to go with DIY, just cheer him on right there, go for my man's Ciampa and Gargano just to see what happens. You never know what could occur here, man. Also, I got my hair cut today, and I really, I, I don't know, I think I thinned it out too much up top. I don't, I don't know. But I expect big things out of that ladder match, man. Hopefully it will live up to the hype and be a really good matchup. Next up, we have Yeet versus No Yeet. We have Jimmy and Jey Uso squaring off here, man. Should be a matchup of epic proportions. I hope these guys get time because this one's going to be epic. I can truly see this, and I think this is going to tie into our bloodline. Cody Rhodes finishing the story storyline as well. I think that Jay is going to win. I am picking Jay to win this matchup. I think that once he wins that matchup, I think Jimmy, he's going to finally, like him beating Jimmy is going to solidify. This is how it's going to go down. It's going to be a close matchup at the end. Jay is going to defeat Jimmy and no bloodline help is going to come out. They're going to be so worried about Roman and everything like that that nobody comes to help Jimmy and Jimmy's going to realize that, oh my God, this bloodline thing is a scam. I need my brother. And Jimmy is going to turn his back on the bloodline. That's what my that's my prediction. That's what I'm going to predict to happen. I think it'd be fantastic. I, I, I don't know if I'm doing a fantasy booking video. Maybe I did. If I didn't, that's how I would fantasy book it. I think that Jay 
Jay really convincing Jimmy, being like, look, Oos, yeah, clear, like, clearly they don't give a shish about you. The proof is on, in the pudding. Look at this right here. And then Jay wins, and then Jimmy's like, oh, yeah. And then he doesn't help Roman or The Rock or Roman on night two. It just makes sense, man. I just think that's that's cinema. That is beautiful right there. So I'm going to go with Jay beating Jimmy. Next up, we have Gunther defending against Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship, a matchup I'm very much looking forward to. Jesus in heaven could be match of the year. Could probably be match of the entire weekend. I'm very much looking forward to this matchup. You'll probably hear me say that a lot because these cards are stacked, man. Night one and night two are both stacked. Both match cards on both nights are stacked, man. I got to find ways to get into the arena. I, I don't even have tickets. I'm going up there for the figure stuff, man. So I mean, I, I'm going to be around for the weekend, but I got to find a way to get to WrestleMania to witness the... I want to see this in person, so we're going to see what takes place, but I am going to go with Sami Zayn finally ending Gunther's championship reign, man. I think it would be beautiful. You know, I don't think that they've really... I've loved what they've been doing with Chad Gable and things like this. Like, some of these vignettes and stuff like that look like I'm watching a damn movie in the theater. It's kind of crazy, but I think that Gunther's going to move on. I don't know why, man, but I'm feeling Sami Zayn. I'm going to go with Sami Zayn. I love Gunther. I love both these guys, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to come to an end, man. I think Sami Zayn gets the job done, but it would not shock me if he were to hold the L. Then we have our Women's World Championship match. Rhea Ripley defends against Becky Lynch. A big dream match for a lot of people. Probably my two favorite women in WWE squaring off right here, man. Epic matchup right here. Cannot wait for this. I'm going to go with Rhea retaining the championship. I don't think she should lose the championship right here, man. I don't think she should lose the championship. I'm going to predict her to retain the title, and I just think that's best for business. Even though it would tie into that Judgment Day storyline, her losing the championship or something like that. You know, she's more pissed off. She's, she's putting up with less BS. You know what? I'm flipping it. I'm going Becky Lynch. I think, I think Becky Lynch defeats Rhea Ripley. And it uh, it causes her to go, uh, you know, causing havoc. She's going to be pissed off. It's going to make her, you know, her her leash is not going to be as long. She's going to be very pissed off at Dominic for this and Judgment Day for that, losing all these matchups, and then Dominic winning his matchup. That's just going to piss them all off. So I think, yeah, I like that. I'm going Becky Lynch to win now. And then night number one's main event, we have the Bloodline, the Rock and Roman Reigns, taking on Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, of course. If Rock and Roman win this matchup, night two's championship match between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns will be under Bloodline rules, which obviously means no, you know, pretty much no holds barred, no DQ. Anything goes here. It's very tough because the only person that really should take a pinfall in this scenario is The Rock. But I don't see them pinning Cody Rhodes here unless he takes a slew of damage. Like, it would have to be a ridiculous amount of damage. Him or Rollins taking just a ton of bumps. Maybe some crazy stuff takes place. Spike in the neck, rock bottom, people's elbows, spear. Like, you know what I mean? He would have to get just shot to death by a gun. He would literally have to be obliterated by a machine gun and then pin him one, two, three for them to lose this. I am going to oh, Jesus Christ. This is this is what makes it so hard. I'm gonna predict that the bloodline win because I think on night two it's gonna tie together where we get interference and stuff like that and there's shenanigans. So I don't you know what I mean? And I guess you could have shenanigans, but maybe they dethrone the rock night one and then he's okay. Alright, so here's my final prediction. I'm gonna say that the rock is gonna take the pin on night one. I think that this is gonna piss the rock off. I think that he's going to be shattered. Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes are celebrating. Now the Bloodline are banned from ringside, which means shenanigans are coming on night number two. This will lead into different stuff that we get into, and I'll get into that later. Let's let's move on. That was night number one's cap. I do think Cody and Seth will beat The Rock and Roman Reigns. They'll pin The Rock. Maybe Roman doesn't get up. You know, he like acts like he's going to go Triple H style, right? In the Elimination Chamber, you guys remember? Maybe some of you do. Hopefully to, hopefully to God you do. Batista's getting pinned and Triple H stands up and then he sits right back down. He could have broke up the pinfall, but he didn't. Going to be something similar like that. So now we move on to night number two, man. And we're starting things off with the pride. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits taking on the final testament in Karrion Cross and AOPP. Who remembers that shish? That shish was terrible. Jesus in hell. What a horrific... I never liked AOP after that. Just garbage television. Six-man Philadelphia street fight. I'm going with the Hurt Business 2.0. The Pride here. The Pride is going to win this. I think that it makes the most sense. I, I just, I don't like Karrion Cross. I don't like what they got going. I don't like this character. 
I don't like. I've never really been a big fan of Karrion Cross, anyways. But I don't like the the stable. I just this is uh, this is going to be their demise because they're going to lose this matchup and they're going to be dead in the water. I think so. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits is way more money for me. I like them a whole lot more. I'm going to predict them to win. I just think it's the best for business, as they say. So I'm going with the pride. Next up, we have LA Knight taking on AJ Styles. Another matchup I'm looking forward to, man. I think that AJ Styles, as bummy as it is for LA Knight fans, man, I'm going to go with AJ Styles. I like AJ Styles in this matchup. I think, you know, ever since returning with this new look and everything, he really needs a big win under his belt, man. He really does need a big win under his belt. You could say the same about LA Knight, but he had opportunities, right? He had his shot at Roman. He had his shot at the Rumble. I'm going to say AJ Styles wins this match, and I know that kind of leaves it like, oh, well, where does LA Knight go? Well, Gunther is going to be losing the championship to Sami Zayn, or at least I'm predicting so. Maybe he can go after that gold, or maybe the U.S. gold, or something like that. I I gotta go with AJ Styles here. I'm gonna predict the phenomenal one. And speaking of mid-card gold, we do have our Triple Threat United States Championship match. Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens versus Logan Paul. Of course, the champion here in the Triple Threat. I like this match on paper. I'm a big Randy Orton, Kevin Owens guy. Not a big Logan Paul guy, as, as they say. So, I uh, am looking forward to this. I love those guys. I hope that we get a really good match. I predict that we will. You know, Logan Paul is really good in the ring, despite, you know, all the different things that he's done or if he's not a good person or whatever those things are, man. He can still go in the ring. It really, if you separate those things, he's damn good in the ring and you can't put it past him. He's a great athlete. And so I think that him, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton are going to put on a banger. This should be an underrated one right here. I, I think that... I'm going to go with Kevin Owens winning here, man. I'm going to go with Kevin Owens winning. I think that Logan Paul's title reign will come to an end finally. Even though I will say, I don't think every champion is losing their title. But at the same time, if any champion was going to retain, it would be Logan Paul. So if Logan Paul retains, it will not shock me at the slightest. But being that I'm a big Randy Orton and Kevin Owens guy, I'm just going to predict that he loses it. I'm going to go with Kevin Owens to win, even though it would not shock me at the slightest to see Logan Paul retain here. Next up, man, is our WWE Women's Championship match. EO Sky defends against Bayley. Bayley winning the Rumble. The damage control storyline just kind of writes itself, man. She's trying to finish her own story. I am going with Bayley to win this. She's going to capture the championship. Another championship loss right here, man. But yeah, I think, yeah, I'm going with Bayley. There's really nothing else to say here. I'm looking forward for Bayley to win this matchup and, and, you know, finish her own story. She won the Rumble. I think that we're going to get another good baby face run for Bayley. It's been a while since she's been on that side of the card. And I think that it, it serves her right, man. She, should, she deserves this. She's going to win the championship at WrestleMania. And then we have our semi-main event. We have Seth freaking Rollins defending his championship against Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre been on the run of his life. He's been on an incredible run. His, his run right now is legendary. The stuff he's been doing with CM Punk, all his social media posts, all the things, the trolling, the different promos that he's done. He is doing iconic work, man. And I loved Drew McIntyre before, but this has given me a newfound love for the character for him, man. He is killing it right now. And he's one of my favorite parts of WWE television. Drew McIntyre is winning this championship and then CM Punk can return later and take him on or whatever the hell you want to do. That program will be legendary, but Drew McIntyre is absolutely winning this match. He should win this match and it should be epic. So I think that this is going to be Seth Rollins' championship run coming to an end. Drew McIntyre, he's going to capture the title. He's going to get his moment in front of the fans winning the world title and it's going to be epic. I'm going Drew McIntyre, even though I love Rollins, that's one of my guys, I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre as much as it pains me to say. I, I, I'm i going Drew McIntyre. He, he deserves this, man, and it's going to be a legendary run with these different things he's going to say after he wins this title. And last but not least, man, it is all up to this. We have Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes for the Undisputed Championship. Night 2, WrestleMania 40, main event time. This is going to tie back to our Night 1 main event here. I think that The Rock is going to be very pissed off, and he is going to interfere in this matchup, and he is going to cost Roman Reigns. I think that he's going to come out there. It's going to look like he's going to turn on Cody. You know, he's setting up. He's bent over. He's got his hands on his knees. He's prepping like he does for The Rock bottom, and he's going to turn to the Tribal Chief. And he is going to rock bottom him through hell. He's going to hit him with the damn people's elbow. Roman will get up, take a crossroads, take another crossroads, and probably a third crossroads ball game right there. And I think that we're going to get some epic near falls in here. I think Solo comes out, th spikes Cody in the neck. It's going to look like he's going to lose. He's going to kick out. It's going to be amazing. This matchup is going to be cinema. Like I've stated multiple times, this, this WrestleMania card is absolutely stacked, but I'm going to predict, it won't shock me if Roman Reigns wins, I'm going to predict that Cody Rhodes 
finishes the story, and finally gets the championship, and it's an epic day. And I pray to God that I'm actually there for it because I want to see this. I, I drove me crazy last year. I have a whole vlog on the channel about going last second to WrestleMania 39, night number two, and it drove me nuts. I finally went, and he lost, man. He lost. I saw Solo enter right to my left, like right beside, walked right beside me. I was right there on the floor. And I witnessed him lose, man. I got to see him win, finish the story. I want to see it, and I'm going to predict it to happen. We'll see what goes. But I also stated on Twitter that if Roman Reigns retains the championship, I will get a Cody Rhodes theme tattoo in some way. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what goes on, man. But that is my WrestleMania 40 night one and night two full show predictions. Lots of matches. Lots of matches split over two nights. I am beyond intrigued for WrestleMania. Usually there's some stinkers on the card. There is like one matchup on here that I'm not looking forward to, maybe two, and that's insane, man. I am so unbelievably hyped for WrestleMania, and I'm so glad that I am going up there, and uh, we got to find some tickets, man. We got to find tickets to the show, so we'll see what comes of that, but that is going to wrap up my predictions, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of mine down in the comment section below, and also let me know your predictions down in the comment section. I'd greatly appreciate it, man. But a huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so very much for what you do for me on a continual basis, guys. You guys are absolutely incredible. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.